Hello friends, welcome back to Easy to Learn Tech and thank you for watching all my previous video. If you are watching my video first time, please like, share and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the latest notification. In this video, we are going to talk about media air conditioning error codes and their solution. See the video till the last to get all these error codes and their proper solution. And for all other air conditioning error codes and their solution, even for VRF unit commissioning and all the interior parts, I will provide the link in the description. You can go there and you can check all other links and all other air conditioning error codes and their proper solution. Without wasting our time, let's start our video and see media air conditioning error codes and their solution. When you see the error E1 in your media air conditioning, it means indoor outdoor communication failure. When the communication between our indoor unit and the outdoor unit is not properly done, at the time we get this error. The first cause is the cable between indoor and outdoor. First you have to check the indoor and outdoor cable if it is properly connected in indoor as well as in, in the outdoor unit. If it is properly connected then you have to check the continuity of your cable. If the continuity is good in your cable then you have to check the out supply of your indoor PCB. If the indoor PCB out supply for the communication is good or not. If it is not good then you have to change the indoor PCB. If the communication voltage for your auto PCB is not coming properly it means your auto PCB is faulty need to change the auto PCB and your unit will be in working condition when you see the error E3 it means indoor fan speed out of control this happens due to the out supply from our PCB if it is not good to the fan motor that time you can get this error E3 or sometimes if our fan water is not operating properly at that time also it can show the error E3. The main cause in this is indoor PCB or the fan water. Step by step you have to check the indoor PCB if you are getting out supply properly from the indoor PCB it means your indoor PCB is good. If you are not getting properly then you have to change your indoor PCB and you will get the solution for the error E3. Sometimes our fan the out supply which is going to the PCB giving all the commands of the motor if it is not properly giving back to the PCB at that time also we get this error then you have to change the fan motor and you will get the solution for the error E3 when you see in your unit the error E5 it means outdoor unit temperature sensor problem or the connector of the temperature sensor is defective first of all you have to check the placement of your sensor and the connector if the connector is connected properly in the PCB or not if it is connected properly then you have to check the placement of your temperature sensor temperature sensor is installed just backside of our condenser unit if the placement is not good place it properly then you have to check the resistance of your temperature sensor if the resistance is good or not if the resistance is not good it means our temperature sensor is faulty if the resistance is good then you have to check the wire between the sensor and the PCB if it is cut or if it is damaged or not if it is not cut or if it is not damaged then you have to check the out supply from your outdoor PCB if the out supply is not good then you have to change the outdoor PCB and you will get the solution for the error E5 when you see the error E6 it means open or short circuit of your room or evaporator temperature sensor faulty first of all you have to check the placement if it is placed properly in our evaporator coil or not if it is not placed properly place it properly and see if there is error or not if there is no error it means there was an issue of placement if the placement is good then you have to check the resistance of your room or evaporator temperature sensor if the resistance is not good you have to change the sensor and you will get the solution if you see the resistance is good then you have to check the connector of your sensor if the connector is not connected properly in the PCB at that time also we can get this error and why between the sensor and the PCB if it is cut or damaged at that time also we get this error E6 then you have to check the connection and you have to correct it properly and sometimes if the out supply from our indoor PCB is not coming properly to the sensor at that time also we get this error E6 when you see the error E7 it means your outdoor fan speed is out of control first of all you have to check the obstruction in your fan outdoor fan if there is no obstruction then you have to check the outdoor fan motor if the outdoor fan motor is good or not you have to check the resistance of your outdoor fan motor if the resistance is not good you can change the outdoor fan motor and you will get the solution if the motor is good then you have to check the out supply which is coming from your outdoor PCB if there is some vary in the outdoor PCB 
if the signal is not coming properly to your fan motor if the supply is not coming properly at that time also your speed will be out of control you have to change the outdoor pcb and you will get the solution of the error e7 when you see the error p0 it means your ipm or your igbt is defective in your auto pcb these are the two components which are installed in your auto pcb if your ipm is not working properly then it can't give proper command to your compressor and you will get the error p0 or your igbt is getting over current or under current at the time also it will show the error p0 if you can repair this pcb if you can change this component then you can get the solution for the error p0 otherwise you have to change your auto pcb and you will get the solution for the error p0 when you see the error p1 it means over voltage or two under voltage protection for our auto unit system when our auto unit is getting the voltage frequently less or high at that time it will show the error p1 first of all you have to check the main power supply if the main power supply is giving proper power or not if it is not giving proper power then you have to make it stable and you have to connect and you have to check again if you are getting this same error p1 it means your outdoor pcb is faulty the outdoor pcb is not converting dc current properly so there is a over voltage and under voltage in your outdoor pcb so you have to change the outdoor pcb and you will get the solution for the error p1 when you see the error p2 it means your temperature protection of your compressor top there is a sensor is faulty or it is not placed properly in the top of the compressor at the time you will get this error p2 you have to check the connection of that sensor if it is connected properly in your outdoor pcb or not if it is not connected connect it properly and place it properly then you have to start the unit again and again if you are getting the same error you have to change that sensor and you will get the solution for the error p2